What would happen, if you piled all the salt in the ocean on land? Would it have the impact, on our daily lives? Well, would you store the salt? Cause you couldn't just build the salt shaker big enough to store it all. So, what would happen? About 70% of Earth's surface is covered with water, and most of it that is, 97% is salty and, the rest 2.5% is locked in glaciers, and only 0.3% is available in liquid form. So what would happen, if you piled all the salt in the ocean on land? If you pulled out all that salt and piled it on land, it would create a layer 500 feet deep, across the entire land surface of the Earth. But how did the ocean end up having this much salt? About 3.8 billion years ago, when the Earth cooled below 100 degrees Celsius, the water vapor turned into liquid water. At that time the oceans contain fresh water. But whenever it rained, the carbon dioxide from the air would dissolve in the raindrops and turn the water slightly acidic, and when it falls it causes the rocks to erode. From there the rainwater flowed to nearby rivers and streams taking the salt and various minerals along with it, and then into the sea and ocean. The salt would also get added by the hydrothermal vents and submarine volcano. The process went on happening since the earth cooled down. So what will be the effects of post-desalination on the ocean and marine life? There are roughly 228,450 species, in the ocean and, many are yet to discover. But if the ocean were to become freshwater, all the marine life except few, would die, as their cells swelled and ruptured due to osmosis. Their bodies would sink to the ocean floor, but won't decompose, because all the marine decomposers would die too. Marine algae which are responsible for at least half of Earth's oxygen production would die too. So without algae, not only will we have less oxygen, but more carbon dioxide in air due to less photosynthesis and less absorption of carbon dioxide in the ocean. This would heat up the Earth especially the parts near the equator, because the ocean currents won't be circulating the heat the way they used to. Convention currents help the warm water from the equator get further north, since the equator gets the intense heat and the cold water from the north, is able to cool hotter area near the equator. At the equator, the warmer water can carry more salt, so this denser water sinks lower, while the cooler water flows over the top. And in farther north, the water gets cold enough to freeze and form ice. So the salt gets left behind and naturally, the cold water gets more denser and sink lower, making the room for warmer water coming from the hot areas. This maintains the temperature of the globe. So without the salt, the whole process breaks down. A liter of seawater contains around 35 gram of dissolved salt. So desalination of the entire ocean would involve removing 45 million billion tons of salt. This sudden reduction in the weight on the seabed floor would probably trigger earthquakes and volcanoes around the globe. This would also cause the hurricanes to become more frequent and more deadly, and because the freshwater is less dense, the ice cap would sink an extra 10 centimeters. Our planet's weather and climate would completely change. With the Earth's poles being very cold and the equator being very hot, the food chain would completely collapse and the most species would die including humans too. So the next time you use the water, use it carefully, because it is predicted, that by 2040 there will be no water, if we keep doing what we are doing today. So save water, because it is limited. Be curious and keep questioning. And thanks for watching, if you like the video, hit the like button, and see you in the next video.